Emily Maria Bori Ryerson, August 10, 1863 to December 28, 1939, Philadelphia, was an American first-class passenger who survived the sinking of RMS Titanic on April 15, 1912. Emily married Arthur Land Ryerson on January 31, 1889. They had five children, Susan Suzette Parker Ryerson, August 3, 1890, Arthur Land Ryerson, Jr., 1891-1912, Emily Bory Ryerson, October 8, 1893-June 25, 1960, Ellen Ashford by Ryerson, 1895-1973, and John Bory Jack Ryerson, December 16, 1898-January 21, 1986. Daughter Emily Bory Ryerson married George Hyde Clark of Hyde Hall. They, who lived on a large estate near Cooperstown, New York, had seven children before divorcing. Emily, Arthur, and three of their children, Suzette, Emily, and John, boarded the RMS Titanic as first-class passengers in Cherbourg, France, after learning of the death of their son, Arthur Jr., an undergraduate at Yale, who had been killed in an automobile accident in the United States. With them were their maid, Victorine Shodanson, and John's governess, Grace Scott Bowen. On the afternoon of April 14, 1912, fellow passenger Marion Longstreth Thayer invited Emily for a walk. It was the first time she had been on deck in public. After nearly an hour they settled into deck chairs outside the aft staircase of a deck to watch the sunset. White Star official, J. Bruce Ismay, joined them and told them about the ice warning from the Baltic. Emily was awake when the Titanic hit the iceberg on April 14, 1912, 11.40 p.m. She woke Arthur, Suzette, Emily, John, Grace, and Victorine. The maid's door was locked and I had some difficulty in waking her. By this time my husband was fully dressed, and we could hear the noise of feet tramping on the deck overhead. He was quite calm and cheerful and helped me put the life belts on the children and on my maid. I was paralyzed with fear of not all getting on deck together in time, as there were seven of us. I would not let my younger daughter, Emily, dress, but she only put on a fur coat, as I did over her nightgown. Emily and her family went to a deck and stood there for fully half an hour. She, Suzette, Emily, Victorine and Grace stepped into lifeboat four. John was initially not allowed in, however, Arthur stepped forward and said, of course, that boy goes with his mother. He is only 13. While in the lifeboat, Emily witnessed the ship break in half. They were rescued by RMS Carpathia at about 8 a.m. on the 15th. Emily, Suzette, Emily, John, Victorine, and Grace survived, but Arthur perished. His body, if recovered, was never identified. Emily built the Ryerson Mansion at 2700 Lakeview Avenue in Lincoln Park, Chicago. In the 1920s while traveling through China, Emily met William Forsyth Shafasi, who was the forestry advisor to the Chinese government and later was appointed advisor to the Ministry of Finance. He was also a graduate of Yale University and was 18 years her junior. He was the son of Heinrich Louis Shafasi and Annie Griffith Shafasi. The accounts of Forsyth trying to get from Peking to Chicago in the early weeks of December 1927 made the newspapers worldwide. In the attempt to get him to Chicago during a blizzard, he traveled by boat, train, then finally by private plane, which Emily had sent to bring him to Chicago. He did not arrive on time, and they held the wedding December 9, 1927. They went to Italy and Persia for their honeymoon. They traveled throughout their marriage, and settled in St. Jean Cap Ferrat on the French Riviera where they built Villa Bontoc. Their next door neighbor was the noted author and playwright, Somerset Maugham. In December 1939 while in Hawaii, Emily fell and broke her hip but insisted on continuing the trip. In Uruguay she suffered a fatal heart attack and died on December 28, 1939. She was buried in Lakewood Cemetery in Cooperstown, New York. Thank you for listening, and if you would like to hear more biographies, please leave a comment below and perhaps give a thumbs up and subscribe to help my channel. Thank you again for listening.